Move! Ha! 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 Alright. Yo. Yo, what up? This is V from Fade Info and we back. This video is brought to you by FadeInfo.com. Follow us on the gram, Fade Info Official. So what we're doing is a fade with the fast feeds. Here's what you need to complete what we're doing today. You need a pair of fast feeds. You need a pair of trimmers, preferably T outliners, my favorite. You need a razor. You need some shaving cream or shaving gel. The zero purple guard and the one purple guard. And you're good to go. We thank you for all your love and support. Leave us comments and suggestions on what you want us to do. I'll take any requests, anything you want me to do as far as like haircuts on this channel, I'm willing to do it. And if you want the other guys to start doing haircuts, leave comments. We want them to do some haircuts too. All right, it's V from Fader for, and I'm out. All right, before we get started, I just want to let you know this is my man, O'Baby, AKA Key One. And he does all of our fade and full shirts and apparel. If you need to get shirts printed, hit him up. You can email him at blackstarinc102 at gmail.com. These are my fast feeds. I'm closing the lever. The blade is closed. I'm going to do a bowl cut. My fast feed blades have factory settings. They don't cut super low. So this will be a light fade with my fast feeds. cut is complete coming back with my fast feed I have my one guard and we're gonna go with the green keep his waves on top and make sure we get it all one length before we start fading
taking my my second biggest purple guard for my fast feeds, and I'm going against the grain on the parietal ridge. the lever back, open the blade to take out that line. I adjust the blade a little bit more just so I can get the midsection and blend out whatever's left. Take my smallest guard again, close the blade, and go against the grain. Now I'm attempting to wipe out the bottom line. I open up my blade a little bit more so I so I can cut less hair and take out any lines. no guard at all, open my blade and start cutting down that line. Take a little bit more hair off, close the blade just a tad bit, and it will come right up. And if there are any hair standing up, smoothly just go with the grain, smoothly without cutting too much hair off. My blade is open while I'm going with the grain, by the way. Okay. Fade is done. Repeat those same steps on the other side.
fade is complete, I'm just going to line the back and around the ears with my wireless Andes T outliners. the hairs down make sure everything is smooth and easy before I use the razor for his edge up that can be done with a guard or without a guard I prefer to start with a guard first and then work my way down and if I need to take off a little bit more hair I'll take the guard off and open my blade like I'm doing here just so that when I put the cream on the hair lays down and it's nice and soft before I, before I razor it down Right, I'm applying shaving cream from our foaming machine around the edge up. And once I'm done applying the cream, I just wipe it right off. All right, wiping it off. wiping the hair off so I can see my line. I'm, I'm wiping the cream off so I can see my line when I use my razor. All right, this is where this is where it becomes a little advanced. You find your line with the razor, pull the skin back, and then slowly go down just a little bit. A soft touch, however, firm enough to cut the hair.
I would suggest going with the grain on the edge up, on the on the top line, that front face line, go with the grain. And always pull, pull the skin back so that the hairs can stand up. I try to make my clients corners match with their the end of their eyebrows. So that's like a I guess that's a, that's an old barber trick. But I like everything to be symmetric, so I, I match the corners with the eyebrows. And I also the curve, I also go with the grain on the curve. Pull the skin up and go down. Now the actual that actual curve can be a little tough, so sometimes I'll reverse it and do as you see right here. Just to get a good smooth curve. I use this, this same technique on beards as well, but that'll be another video. We're gonna keep this one just for the fast feed fade. And I repeat these same steps on the other side. All right, it's looking good. Just gotta touch up the left side a little bit, make sure everything is straight. Perfect blend, perfect line. Beard is crispy. And my man is ready to go make more shirts and apparel for the team. Are you gonna look at the camera? Hey, I actually wanted to get some footage of you dancing, man. You think we get get some dance moves?